have to go back! Games as a service? Oh, I don't think so. Why are these shills so quick to say cosmetic only? Like, have you seen a battle pass in your life? Eight years is a long time. You know who else thought so? It's probably eight years now, and it's a long time to, to work on it. And we kind of feel like... It's weird, because I think when you work on something for eight years, and like for my kind of job, you have to be sort of obsessed with it. Like I must like suppress I the voices. Uh, suppress the demon. Maybe it took a bit of obsession to properly bring something beloved to life. No bias, no hang-ups, no conflict with what is and what works and what is why it has survived. Just an appreciation, an acknowledgement, a recognition, a reverberation, at a glance, passion soaked, powerful. It would take obsession, an autistic devotion, to respectfully handle this shit so well it sucks because this is art and every second we drift further from being represented properly it doesn't feel like the people who love these things are working on them director sefton hill is a man that i've never spoken to but i know loved batman and put realizing a Batman story that just happened to be a virtual experience at the top as a priority. Sefton Hill left Rocksteady. Before the Suicide Squad game released, they could have kept this secret <laughs> until later. But they didn't. Why? Director Sefton Hill, we thank you. But it seems now we'll have to be the detectives. Let's hear those theories in the comment section below. If the publisher is forcing this to be a live service, fine. But why not distance yourself from Avengers by bringing back the beauty the first games effortlessly managed? There should be physics now. We want to see an evolution, not a downgrade. People would pay for that. You must know that. You would know that if you understood not only live services, but the many high-profile money-making games out right now. This image isn't about me. It's a recognition of the pathetic double standard that only insecure hypocrites populating that studio agree with. You're selling virtual action figures for your always online display case. No refunds, but you're making the figures flat frumpy and ugly then you've learned nothing from avengers you earn the comparison hello beta testers my name's kyle and in my humble opinion rocksteady is already off to a bad start banning players just discussing the battle pass going silent for weeks while wb strikes people's channels typical how Marvel's Avengers of y'all? Sushi Squad isn't even out, and I already feel forced into this historian role. Like and subscribe, and join me in the Discord on this journey, helping me document the relevant milestones in this fiasco's history. You'd think after Anthem, Avengers, Gotham Knights, that these people would pump the freaking brakes. But I guess we'd think wrong. Apparently they're even going so far as to straight up ban people on their Facebook page from discussing the screenshot leak. Here we go again, huh? I want Sushi Squad to succeed, but only if it deserves to. And to earn that success, it would need to offer equal or better than what is currently and has previously been made available. You want a battle pass? That's fine. But pay to skip? Hell nah, and pay to win? <laughs> we flat out won't support that. These shills bend over and arch their back for a whip, desperate for that company hand up that butt, ready and willing to say whatever you puppet them to. Not I. My name is Kyle, 
and I've watched this all play out before. You've got the stink of Fallout 76 on ya, and you don't wash off easy. You better pray your game doesn't break in ways that immediately telegraph to the players what matters most for you to fix, because it will be telling, as telling as Poison Ivy's upcoming reveal, which will be extremely revealing, but not in the sexy way, in the way where it will help the consumer gauge how woke your studio is. So just like your ugly Harley is turning people off the same way that knock off Avengers did before that game came out, I I can't pretend you're not dropping it bow. But of course, in the interest of education, I'll elaborate. Your Poison Ivy design will help people understand whether or not this game securing a future will be easy or tricky based on how you choose to go about adapting and representing these long-lasting properties. After all, how well a live service does at launch often dictates its future. Games as a service, eh, it's got huge shoes to fill because these other games have had a head start and time to polish and cater fine-tune their experiences to the needs of their players. They don't ignore and ban their players for discussions. They listen, involve, and represent the desires of the people who are investing their time with this freaking second job that you're trying to throw out in front of them, bro. And some of them are all there for it, but you gotta meet them halfway. People who make these games successful, <laughs> these are the whales you're trying to catch. Don't pull in Avengers and ignore players begging for long hair. They're telling you how to nickel and dime them. If you go, oh, I can do better and you know what I mean? It's just don't do it again. Don't do it again. Don't do it again. Avengers was supposed to teach everybody. If you learn the wrong lessons, it will be you. I'll make you a laughing stock. If any developer is watching right now who's so out of touch with gaming that you have nothing to do with Genshin, Watch what I'm presenting to you right now, and more importantly, accept that you're out of touch. Do you have any idea how up your own ass you'd have to be to be in the Destiny space, but not be versed in Destiny, Genshin, or Fortnite? You deserve to fail. Imagine the last internet that you managed was dial-up tier, and now in a fiber optic time, you're thinking you can not look at the competition and just throw your thing out again. Genshin from launch has allowed players to swap characters out on the fly, synergize and overwhelm opponents. It's flashy, fun, polished, responsive, a bit of a juggling act, and rhythmically satisfying. Take it from an articulate and musically inclined Jamaican. Just as sexy isn't restricted to muscles and curves, a satisfying rhythm can be struck sans music, which is to say without music. You want me to slow down? Replay the fucking video if you're having difficulty understanding where I'm coming from because I'm being too vicious. Suck my balls. The music matches the game's beauty. New content brings areas and heroes to offer variety and leave enthusiastic players eager to explore. To reiterate, Marvel's Avengers biggest issue was a lack of variety with its two villain and oops all archers ass. The cadence of free content and free-to-play games like Genshin Impact include, but are not limited to, Fall Guy-styled minigames, prop hunt, rhythm games, dating simulators, free rewards if you fly through the sky and collect these coins, free rewards if you sail in this boat and collect these coins, brick attack, the list goes on. Most of these experiences can be shared with a friend as well. Free of charge. And just like in Apex Legends, just like in Fortnite, the world is beautiful, and so are its characters. Unapologetically so, and why shouldn't they be? We exist but for a moment, and should not be shamed by insecure losers out of confidence. I often use the phrase, taking the dinosaur out of Jurassic Park, or uh, the, taking the cars out of Fast and Furious to illustrate how hilarious it is when developers and designers ruin what works because they have to fail reinventing the wheel again. But I'm forced now to present what is currently on offer and what currently appeals. This is Poison Ivy in Fortnite. This is Mona, Rosaria, Shenha in Genshin. This is Loba in Apex. 
Jury in Street Fighter, Lady Dimitrescu in Resident Evil, Bayonetta, Pyra in Smash, This is Atomic Hearts. This is Stellar Blade. This is One Piece. Here's Lost Ark. Here's First Descendant. You want me to go into Dead or Alive? You want me to go back to a Hideo Kojima game? Can I bring up 2B? You know, Soul Calibur. If you deliver an inferior package than the plentiful, bountiful package that you delivered eight years ago, when you're expecting to charge people for skins, these days with your cosmetic focused battle pass honestly i'm more than ready to see the studio go full saints row thank you for listening to this point if you reach this far i love you to death join the discord if you're interested and let's eagerly await the poison ivy reveal together i'm sure it'll be cause for celebration